Welcome back to Ohio, everybody. We got to head on down to field 22. That is ready to harvest. That is our soybeans. So I'm going to send this down on a worker with a header here. And then we'll drive a, the harvester down. Uh, let's give this a shot. He should be able to get there. I've done this once before. I wonder if he's going to take a shortcut. Let's try, I don't know, like this. All right. He should be all right. Take it easy. Okay, so we're going to take the harvester on down. We also are going to have to, because we do want to plant barley right away, we're going to have to have a quick turnaround with this because it's the last day to plant barley in that field. So we're going to have to uh, run like a cedar down there. And it probably needs lime, too, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see where that's at. Um, it's hard to tell until we get down there to get the actual reading, but I guess lime should be around 6. According to this, we are at 6, but I think after the harvest it might get worse. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I guess we'll cross that road when it happens. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna need both wagons to be honest. I think the field's small enough, but I'd hate to get down there and need both. So I think that should be fine. Yeah, we'll just leave him hooked up. I'll get out here a little bit because he's gonna be slower than us. Um, and then we'll send him down. Oh, he's going a long way. He's taking the main road. We could probably beat him. Let's try to go like this. I don't know how well that's going to work. Alright. He's heading on through. We'll take the, the shorter way. That'll actually be a good thing if our header beats us down there, because we do need the header to get any work done, so... I'm rooting for him to beat us. He should be able to, I think. He's that much farther down there. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, he's already ahead of us, so... That should work out perfect. Alright, got him in my sights. I am catching up to him, though. That should be just about perfect. This could get real dangerous with these workers because I can't teleport to him. So, uh, if they do get jammed up, it's not going to be fun. We'd have to send the Kubota down here or something. Okay. Now he's struggling. I guess we can take over for him. He's having trouble with these trees. Go right here is good enough, I think. Shut her off. Save gas. Yeah, so our pH value says okay. I don't know if that's going to get worse once we harvest. Yeah, we probably only needed one gravity box. We'll go ahead and get started. Still making his way down here. Should be alright, I think. Unless he gets hung up on that tree like the other guy did. Alright, let's see how good of a harvest we get. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, jam to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took a red pill, I know life's short so I want to live real, but how is it supposed to feel? Alright, just 
getting the last little bit here. If I knew it was going to all fit on the harvester, I wouldn't have bothered to send those wagons down, but I'd rather have them and not need it than need it and not have it, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in first wagon, I guess. Keep the weight on the front. Probably going to be like what? Eh, maybe half. More, probably more like a quarter. Eh, about half. Not too bad. I think I'm going to drive the wagons back. And we can send the harvester down on a worker. And they can take the long way and joyride, if you will. Let's see here. Get this in the right spot. That one doesn't snap, it just kind of lays there. Okay, let's send this down. There we go. Just took a second. All right, so how do we look on, yeah, at the, uh, yeah, the pH. Um, we're gonna go ahead and lime this then. So we're gonna bring the limer and then we'll also send down the, I'm probably gonna need this tractor for the lime spreader then. I suppose I could switch these right here. We can take the international back. Let's do that. That way it's not uh, too much for this. It just doesn't look right having this small tractor on that line thrower. It probably could handle it. But it's just something's not right about it. That's fine. The worker can take this back. And then we can... And then we can go ahead and bring... Both the lime thrower down and our cedar. And we're gonna plant barley in this field. But we should have the auto stack at some point here. I think I would still get the auto stack. Even if I have to take a loan out. It's becoming a priority. Like the harvester made it home alright. I'm surprised he must have I wonder if he took a different way. Seems weird that he beat us down here. I'm gonna go ahead and move it. We will have to harvest these soybeans next month. Probably be the next episode. I'm eager to see what our profit's gonna be here on our. Uh, let's get this out of the way a little bit better. Getting kind of uh, fluttered here <laughs> in our yard. Soybeans in our silo right now. No, we don't. So we're gonna know exactly what that little field was worth. I hope it's decent profit. Alright, here we go. Okay, looks like... Hmm, 30,000 in July. Not too bad. Okay. Alright, we filled the cedar up right. Uh, we need some more fertilizer. And I think we're gonna have to buy that bin. But it's ten thousand. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be low on money again. Uh, let's see, where's a good spot for it? Alright. We're gonna have to plant some grass. Or at least dirt here. There. 
some grass around here. Okay. Now we got 2,000. Let's just, uh... We're not going to buy the full thing here. Uh, we're going to have to take a loan out already. Not that I want to do that. But that's just how things are rolling. Until we wait for our payday. Let's do a $10,000 loan. And then we'll just get a couple thousand liters. Actually, we should do more since we got a bigger loan. Let's do 5,000. All right. So <laughs> that's always great. We're back in debt, ladies and gentlemen. It's always a good feeling. But we now have our bulk fertilizer station, so we don't have to worry about getting totes anymore. And next will be, I want to get our seed treatment station so we can make our own seed. Okay, so let's go ahead and send this down on a worker. And then we'll get our Lime thrower. Did our... Okay, uh, the header trailer made it. I was like, where is that? I don't want to be burning cash. On a worker. And we'll just top this up. I don't think we're going to need all of it, but... We might as well since we're here. Okay. Let's head on down and... Get it limed. Yeah, it's getting real tough on us with the uh, daily maintenance fees and all that. Uh, it would be nice to try to consider something for passive income, if you will, so we don't have to worry about these maintenance fees. That's what's killing us. Because we had a decent amount of money, but every day, every month that goes by, we're paying those fees and we start losing and losing. <laughs> Alright, the last little bit here. Good enough for me. And okay, we got perfect pH. It even says nitrogen's perfect, but we don't have anything in there yet to come to uh, weigh it against for what we need. I think we're gonna actually need to use some more fertilizer. We'll see what our barley requires here. All right, let's send this back home on a worker then. At least they've been cooperative getting back home. Just needs a minute. There we go. Okay, so let's switch our seed to barley. And we shall rock and roll here. Oops, a little bit in the neighbor's field. I hope he doesn't get too uh, angry at us for screwing his field up. 
Okay, let's see what this is at. Looks like the seed use is pretty low. That's always nice. 180 it needs for uh, nitrogen, so... We're definitely there. Looks like we should get a good yield. We're going to have to spray this too. It might save that for the next episode, I think. Alright, just getting the last patch here, and that will do it for the seeding on this field. We got perfect, looks good. Like I said, I, we are going to have to spray for weeds on this. I think I'm going to do that on the... We'll probably be coming in on the next episode, I think I'll be working on that. And then, also in the next episode, we're going to have to get the rest of those soybeans harvested by the farm there and then let's see here let's check our plan oh yeah we we're gonna plant corn let's get these updated so we got these barley and then we'll just put that as a placeholder and then six has not canola now perfect there we go Yeah, probably, I'm hoping that's the last time we're going to plant that field, and then we can get a different one and get that one sold. But it all depends on how our sales go. And, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff we want to buy. i got to get that auto stack, and I want to get that other baler. And then that seed treating, treating uh, mechanism and all that with the silo so we can make our own seed. So, yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, stuff we gotta buy yet and that's just initial let's check the sales before we close out this planter would probably be nice but again we're it's not something we need immediately so all right so i'm gonna leave it right there i'm gonna drive back to the farm and uh, i guess we'll see you guys on the next episode